trees and woodland cover over a third of the High Weald's distinctive landscape, with its pattern of steep wooded valleys or gills, and small woods, shores and copses, separating the small irregular fields. The woods of the High Weald were relatively slow to be cleared, because they were a valuable resource, providing wood for timber and fuel, plus acorns and beech mast for pannage. Although heavily exploited, High Weald woods were rarely destroyed. While the surrounding areas, like the Low Weald, were being permanently settled and farmed, the High Weald remained relatively uncultivated. By doomsday in 1086, it was the most densely wooded area remaining in England. Even while the High Weald's small irregular fields were being created out of the woodland, much of it was retained. Field boundaries were formed by leaving strips of the original woodland between the fields, forming shores and copses. The many steep-sided gills were very difficult to clear and unusable for farming, and so were left wooded. Large areas of woodland were retained to provide essential resources and were coppiced to supply timber for the iron industry in particular. As a result, much of today's high wheeled woodland has probably never been cleared. Over 70% of the high wheeled's woodland is classed as ancient, having existed continuously since at least 1600 AD. Nationally, only about 19% of woodland is ancient. Ancient woodlands are important habitats for certain woodland plants that can only colonise very slowly and also contain a wealth of archaeological features, for example the remains of iron workings. High wheeled woodlands were managed for centuries by skilled workers using a rotational coppice system. This ensured that a renewable supply of wood was always available, especially for fuel and building materials. Woodlands need to be worked. Without management, they become derelict, and wildlife species that depend on working woodland as a habitat suffer. Coppice woodland, in particular, is an important habitat because many British flowering plants and insects thrive under this rotational system. Often the rarer species, such as the pearl-bordered fritillary, can only be found in coppice woodland.